What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new series for the channel. I've decided to copy Martial Mind just a, just a little, little bit and I'm going to start doing some flight simulations for UFC cards. Obviously this Saturday we have the Korean Zombie fighting against the returning Brian T. City Ortega um, who hasn't fought since the Max Holloway loss uh, with that one now on his record, that one defeat. Uh, I'm very excited for this one. As you can probably hear under the sound of my horrible, horrible voice, uh, we've got the COVID experience here. Ignore the crowd in the background. They're just mannequins, moving mannequins. But as you can hear, there's no crowd noise. I've turned it all off. You can hear every punch. This is what we're going to be hearing on Saturday night. And like I said, this is going to be just a simulation. Two legendary AI fighting it out. And uh, we're going to see who could potentially win. Depending on how long the fight goes, I might do like best of three or something. Like if we get a first or second round finish, I might do another one. You know, we'll get a best of three, but if it's like a decision win, then yeah, we'll just show the one fight. Um, it's worth saying as well, I've turned off the accelerated clock. Um, so this is all real time, so it's entirely possible we could get them gassing out by the fifth round. But that remains to be seen. Nice elbow there by Zombie. So far, quite an even fight, but I just think Zombie's got a bit of a striking advantage. Nice spinning back fist there. It's uh, definitely a war. Nice teeth kick. I'm looking for uh, Brian Ortega to start using his jiu-jitsu game. Got a good stand up, but we saw what happened when he fought Max Holloway. Got oh, tore right. apart, so and then that fourth the round doctor stoppage. Attempted for a takedown there. So far, no successful takedowns, but a lot of clinch work from Ortega. Zombie keeps reversing it though into a, a more dominant position. Nice combo, takedown attempt. Zombie stuffs it again. So far the trade again, very even fight so far. I don't know who I'd give this round to. Oh, and Zombie is rocked with an uppercut as he shot for a takedown there. That's definitely put the uh, round into Ortega's favour. It's a solid rock. And Ortega's now southpaw. Takedown is stuffed. Misses the overhand there. Lands the Korean zombie going for it as usual here tonight. Ooh, cuts down the Superman. The uh, zombie likes going to that side whip there. But Ortega keeps clinching him up. Shoots for a takedown, but he gets stuffed again. There we go. Nice spinning back fist again. Again with the uppercut. It doesn't rock him this time. But again the uppercut when he shot for a takedown. Okay, it goes for a takedown, but again it's stuffed by Zombie. Just clinched him against the cage. Okay, yeah, it looks like Ortega is cut on that left eye. And it looks like Zombie is definitely targeting it. Some nice hooks there. Ortega thought about a takedown attempt. Nice combo. Again, I'd put this round slightly on Ortega's favour for that rock earlier. Still plenty of time for Zombie to uh, win this round back though. He's got a cut on Ortega now, so it's definitely something. Nice trip reversal there from Ortega. He's got Zombie on the ground. Now is that, he goes for a Kimura, and he gets it, and yeah, it looks like he's chained into an armbar. <laughs> Can Ortega pull off an armbar here for a first round submission upset? Well, is it an upset really? I don't know, I don't know what the odds are for this one, I don't know who the favourite is, but it looks like he's going to get it guys. He's got it, that's it, and the zombie taps. So the tap comes shortly First round the armbar victory, victory right for Ortega there, the lock, showing off to the non-existent crowd. 
Okay, that, that was a short one, that was first round fight, so uh, I'm going to sim it again and see if we get the same or a similar result. I'll, uh, I'll come back to you guys for the second fight. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Okay, so here we go for fight two. Right, crowd getting excited as this fight Touch gloves. Ooh, straight away, Brian Ortega is rocked with spinning back fist. Okay, this one might go a little differently from the last one then. Ooh, and straight away a successful takedown attempt. Couldn't quite get one until the later stages of round one in the last fight, but a little more successful this time. Okay, he's into half guard. We saw uh, a lot of stand-up game in the last fight. This time we're going to see a lot of ground game. This is quite good actually. This means we can see who's better on the feet and who's better on the ground. If it's the same person or if it's different people, but let's find out. Okay. Zombie managed to get him into guard, now into rubber. Lot of fakes. Take gets the half guard. Can't quite get to full mount. And he's back into side control. Can't quite get into crucifix though. I think that's his second attempt now to get into crucifix. Zombies fake and sprawl and then push them the half guard. And I'll take a postures up. And zombie reverses. That's why you can't throw a lot of postured up strikes versus uh, legendary AI. They are amazing. Arm perhaps. They were in UFC 3 and they are in UFC 4 as well. So now we've got Ortega on his back and now Zombie's inside saddle. Ortega managed to push him out to half guard. Uh, not half guard, sorry, side control. But Zombie does manage to get crucifix. Which is uh, different to how Ortega couldn't quite get it but he doesn't hold on to it very long. Back into crucifix again. Okay, managed to maintain it a little longer this time. Come on, zombie, throw some elbows. Oh, there's some blood on the canvas. I think he's cut Ortega. Ortega's health is extremely low there. I don't know how he quite survived that one, but he does. And he takes zombies back. Okay. Probably move into top mount from here. Yep, he does. Okay, what can he do from here? Tries to posture up, tries to arm, uh, get an arm bar, but no success. Denies an escape attempt, denies another one. Here we go, starting to rain down blows now. Buffs like get up, but he stuffs it. Oh, he's got it, he's got the arm bar. This is how he won the last fight, but I think he's just got slightly less stamina, so that's going to count against him. He's doing quite well though. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts putting his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. In fairness, a zombie is so sort of classified as a kickboxer. Ortega is the jujitsu expert, so Ortega is definitely better on the ground than a zombie should be. And it looks like he's gonna get it as well. He's got it. The second fight in a row now. Ortega wins by armbar, so I think unanimously, you know, did I say that right? I don't know if I said that right, but either way, come Saturday guys, for the main event, it looks like whether it's a heavy stand-up game or if it's mostly ground game, wherever the fight is, it looks like uh, Ortega gets a win on his return by armbar. That definitely looks like the way things are going guys. Who knows if that's how it's going to kick off on Saturday, but we'll find out, won't we? Just under a week to go. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and I'll definitely do more of these. If you didn't, by all means, feel free to leave a dislike. Um, and yeah, subscribe to the channel, guys. And I will probably see you next week for more uh, fight simulations, I guess.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar, Brian T. City Ortega! Well, the celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge...